Hello students, welcome to Global Online University. So I'm very excited to tell you that this is the 13th mock test of, of this series which we have started from 1st of April. Every day at 8 a.m. we upload this video which consists of 50 questions of 2 marks and we are aiming to provide you 40 of this kind of mock test before your examination and we will be covering your entire syllabus uh, with uh, different units every day. We will be taking up a mock test on a different unit. So if you watch all the videos of this series, you are likely to get 75 plus marks with your paper one. Some students might be thinking why we should give this mock test because these are a very good preparation assessment for you. It lets you to know how much you know about paper one and students who have just started with the preparation, they can prepare through this mock test because we will be covering the entire syllabus multiple times before the examination and students who have already prepared, they can revise, they can see if their preparation is up to the mark or not. So there are certain rules also. The first rule is pause the video whenever a question appears and try to answer it. Anyways, we have already explained it in the video. Each question consists of two marks and the exam is total of 100 marks. So if you are scoring between 40 and 60, your score is average and you need to give a lot of attention to paper one. Well, if you are scoring between 60 and 80, your score is good and you need to give a little more attention. Well, if you are scoring between 80 and 100, 80 plus, your score is outstanding and you can focus on paper two. One more rule is that you have to write the score in the comments section. So this is very important students because it lets us know uh, how difficult our mock test is. is maximum students are getting higher marks, we will uh, increase the difficulty level. And if maximum students are getting less marks, we will decrease the difficulty level. So do write your scores in the comments section. And for your complete preparation, we have brought for you 60 full syllabus mock test and these tests have solution PDFs as well. Um, also, these tests consist of current affairs, previous year's papers and uh, we provide you full syllabus notes, comprehensive notes on each and every unit along with video lectures because some students, when they hear uh, from a teacher, they understand it better. So the whole package is available at the Global Online University app which you can install from Play Store. Otherwise, you can also contact us on our WhatsApp group and the fees is just 999. You can contact this number if you are interested. So here you can uh, do discussions. Also, you are in direct contact with the educator. The main motive of WhatsApp group is you get the latest update directly on WhatsApp because maximum students are using WhatsApp these days. Okay, so the this mock test is based on ICT and the first question is an unsolicited email sent to many recipients at once is a so it is called a spam spam means unsolicited means student it is it means unwanted sometimes uh, we get uh, mails from companies or uh, some uh, banks and we are not interested in them but for advertising what companies do they randomly send emails to uh, thousands and lakhs of people so that people come and they take the services or product so that email is known as a spam while inbox is where you get your emails and worms and viruses these are kind of a malware that harm your computer so something that unsolicited email it is nothing but it's a spam Question 2 is given below are two statements. So uh, this question is very important because this is the latest pattern that NT is following. What do they do is they give you two statements and they tell you, um, they ask you if both are true or if both are false, if one is true or the other is false. So let's read the statement. The first statement says operators are special symbols that can be used to perform calculations, make comparisons and check logical condition so this is uh, true uh, because that is the task of uh, operators we have arithmetic operators as well so mm, that are that are plus minus multiplication division so these are arithmetic operators and we also have logical operators like uh, less than greater than statement 2 is Relational operators are used for arithmetic operation. So this is wrong because relational operator is like uh, less than, greater than, is equals to or 
not not equals to so these are relational operators and they are used to compare values and arithmetic operations means plus and minus so do you think this operator can perform this function of 2 plus 2 no it cannot do but it can definitely check if 2 is less than 4 or 2 is greater than 4 so that is the meaning of relational operation operator so relational operators cannot do arithmetic operations so this statement is wrong so in this question only one statement is wrong that is statement one and second is incorrect okay again statement one and statement two question is there so statement one says in a peer-to-peer -peer network there is no central server instead um, a computer can act as a service a server as well as a client so this is very true uh, a peer to peer network is a kind of network which is usually installed at home or a small company or small businesses or like a, a, a shop so there some computers are connected and any computer can do the task of becoming a server so that is peer to peer network so first statement is correct let's read the second statement LAN is a computer network created for individual persons. So this statement is wrong because you also know and uh, everybody knows LAN means local area network. So it is a network which is used to connect computers within a building or within uh, an organization or a smaller area. So it is not meant for individual persons. So second statement is wrong again. So in this question, the right answer is C. Statement 1 is true while statement 2nd is false. Okay, very simple question. A computer network enables two or more computers to. So you know computer network, what is a network when two or more computers are connected to each other to share data and hardware resources. So you might have seen if you work in a company, so there are different computers, they are connected and there is a printer also. So if you want to print something, your computer is connected to a printer. So that is a network, a computer network where a computer can be connected to a printer also. So what is printer? It is a hardware device. So it is used to share data and if one computer is connected to another computer they can send and receive files to each other so what do what are they doing they are sharing data and if it is connected to a printer they are also sharing hardware so here b is in correct okay you can also read the other options they are not valid a computer network does not increase the speed does not increase the work and does not monitor the software only b is the correct answer here Full form of abbreviation OCR. So OCR you might have uh, heard of. It stands for optical character recognition. So it means like uh, you might have given examinations where there is a OMR sheet. Okay. Uh, so you feel there are like bubbles are there in that OMR sheet and students they uh, fill the right choice A, B, C, whatever is the choice. So OCR is a technology where it reads from a scan document. So, from STAN document, information is read by OCR technology. So, uh, OCR is a technology that recognizes text within a digital image. So, when you go to the examination, they give you a hard copy, you mark on it. And when the examina examiners they take uh, that answer sheet, they convert it into a dig digital image. And that digital image is read by OCR, which is Optical Character Recognition. Okay, so remember this, this is important. Abbreviations are very important for UGC net from ICT perspective. Moodle is an abbreviation of, so it stands for Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. So it is an online educational platform to provide custom learning environment for students and it can also be used at teachers because they can create lessons they can manage their course and they can also interact with other teachers and um, their students as well so it is an educational platform modular object oriented dynamic learning environment so you should remember this term it is a learning environment b is the right answer Extra browser window of commercials that open op automatically on browsing web pages is called so it, it called it is called a pop-up. So whenever sometimes you open a window, so a small window, uh, if this is your window, a small window it opens up 
automatically that is called a pop up well spam we already talked about it is it means unsolicited email virus is a malware and phishing is a process where uh, some user they they behave like a authentic they try to pose like a authentic uh, person and they grab your credential or your personal information that is phishing so uh, here the answer is option d pop up again a uh, statements question statement one is world wide web is not an example of client service technology so the first statement is incorrect because it is a client service technology uh, client is a person who is requesting information and service is is the computers which is responding with the information and ftp is a service available on the internet yes we know ftp means file transfer protocol it is used for transferring file on the internet so here in this question only statement 2 is true while statement 1 is incorrect it's false okay so in this question which of the following are true fiber optic cables are wooden fibers to provide high quality transmission no this is not true fiber optic cable um, does not have wooden fibers it has a uh, glass and um, plastic is used for making fiber optic cables so a is incorrect let's see option b wireless communication provide any time anywhere connection to both computers and telephone yes this is true about wireless communication mobile phones are capable of providing voice communication and also digital message messaging service yes this is also true because through your mobile phones you can uh, do voice communication you can call each other and you can also send digital messages so digital messages uh, is something that is when you are using an electronic device to send messages so in this question only b and c is correct so b is the right answer consider the following technologies so this is a beautiful question and you should be prepared of such kind of question see here they have given you four technologies microprocessor transistor vacuum tubes and artificial intelligence now you have to arrange it in the order uh, starting from the first that was introduced to the latest ones okay so vacuum tube was used by the first generation computers okay transistors were used by the third generation computers and microprocessor is being used by the third generation computer and artificial intelligence it is used by the fifth generation computers it is the latest technology that is being used so here the right answer is c d a d okay so b is the right answer microsoft access oracle and sql are example of so it is an example of a relational database relational database is when uh, databases or uh, tables are connected for instance uh, there is like a database of a school where there is student record and there is teachers record so what happens here is the name of the teacher is connected is also present in the teachers table also so all this connection is present in a relational database and your oracle microsoft access and sql all these are examples of relational database operating system is an interface between so interface between is the middleman so operating system is comes in between a user and a computer for instance if you want to uh, perform a calculation on the computer what do you do you and the computer if you want to perform some calculation the middle person will be the operating system because on the operating system are your system softwares built so that platform is provided by the operating system so it becomes the interface between a user and a computer which technology is used for cryptocurrency so cryptocurrency is like uh, digitally you have money you might have heard of bitcoin so all those cryptocurrency uses blockchain technology so in this question b is the right answer now again statement 1 says in this question internet is the largest information and has become a white cliff art of our lives 
so it has become a part of our lives html is incomplete food package that allows users to create web pages okay so in this question uh see is the right answer because internet is the largest information network and html is is not incomplete package okay through html you can create a whole website also it it might be very simple it would have very simple fonts and all but it still hypertext markup language that is the full form of html it has the power of building a website so you cannot say that html is incomplete package it is a complete package that allows user to create web pages so here this statement is incorrect while internet is the largest network and it has become a part of our life this statement is true full form of the abbreviation cps so cps stands for cyber physical system so it it, it comprises interacting digital analog physical and human components engineered for function through integrated physics and logic so this technology it is used in your mobile phones in your automatic cars cyber physical system anko receives an email information that his credit card is going to be cancelled the email advises him to click on the provided link and sign in into his online banking account to prevent this from happening which he does तो अंकुर है एक पर्सन उसको एक ईमेल मिला जो कह रहा है कि आपका क्रेडिट कार्ड एक्सपायर होने वाला है और उसने बोला है कि आप जल्दी से लॉग इन कर लीजिए एक लिंक दिया और अंकुर ने जाके उस पे अपने क्रेडेंशियल डाल दिए एंड एट दैट मोमेंट ओनली टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज वे डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम हिज अकाउंट सो अंकुर हैज बिकम अ विक्टिम टू वॉट to a phishing scam to trojan horse to online blackmail or virus so this is a clear cut example of a phishing scam so what phishing does whenever uh, this kind of uh, phishing scam happens the person they act like an authentic user abhi jaise this person he got an email from from somebody who says that they are from the bank but actually they are not from the bank they posed them as a person from the bank and they stole his credential his account number and password and then they withdrew money from that account so this is phishing when you do such kind of person you pose as an authentic user and then you take up the information so again uh, here in this question two statements are given the first statement says a company wide network close to public access which uses internet type technology is called world wide web so this is not true in a company wide network you use uh, intranet not world wide web so this question is, this statement is wrong why statement 2 modem is a device that enables a computer to communicate over telephone lines yes this is this statement is true so here in this question statement 2 is true while statement 1 is incorrect so d is the right answer Uh, so this is one question where um, i have kept this space so that i can solve this the value of hexadecimal 21 is 33 in decimal number system so hexadecimal number is number starting from 0 to uh, 9 and then it starts from a to f so here uh, these are like uh, 10 and from a to f there are six number so in hexadecimal there are total of 16 letters okay 16 digits are there so now you have to convert this hexadecimal 21 into decimal number so when such type of information comes what you do is uh, starting start from the right hand side and multiply this number 1 into 16 to the power of 0 then you have to multiply 2 into 16 to the power of 1 and if there was another number like 3 over here 3 2 1 so you would have done this thing again and then you have you would have multiplied 3 into 6 to the power of 2 but since 3 is not there we will just do this part so 2 into 16 is 32 right and 
वन इंटू सिक्सटीन टू द पावर ऑफ जीरो एनी थिंग टू द पावर ऑफ जीरो इज वन टू टू द पावर ऑफ जीरो इज वन थ्री टू द पावर ऑफ जीरो इज वन एनी थिंग टू द पावर ऑफ जीरो इज वन सो थर्टी टू प्लस वन गिव्स यू थर्टी थ्री सो दिस इज वेन यू आर कन्वर्टिंग हेक्सा डेसीमल इंटू डेसीमल नंबर सिस्टम सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट वाई द वैल्यू ऑफ बाइनरी नंबर वन 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 जीरो इज फोर्टीन सो लेट्स कन्वर्ट फोर्टीन इंटू बाइनरी let's do this so how do we do is we just divide this by 2 sevens are 14 remainder is 0 2 threes are six remainder is 1 2 ones are two and remainder is 1 so whenever you are doing this write the answer in the reverse order so the answer will be 1 1 1 0 so here this statement is also correct so in this question both the statements are correct statement 1 and statement 2 are true right identify the correct order of following different types of storage memory components in a computer on the basis of price per bytes of storage from most expensive to least expensive so here cpu cache it is the most expensive while ddr4 it is a type of ram which stands at the second number and then is ssd ssd is solid state drive and then comes hdd hard disk drive so in this question the answer is d a c b okay first cache memory then ram then hdd and then hdd so hdd is like the old one hard disk magnetic storage which one of the following is not a image file format so png is a image file format gif is a image file format bitmap is a image file format but gui is not a image format it stands for graphical user interface okay it is not a file format the actual physical network of wire cables and satellites that connects computer and resources throughout the world so that is known as an internet it connects network computers through wires cables and satellite the technology this technology allows a phone call to be routed over network wires so that is done through voip voice over internet protocol is the right answer which of the following stores data permanently in a computer so that permanent thing is done by only rom rom means read only memory your bias information basic input out, um, output system information is in your ram so rom so ram ro i'm sorry so information in the rom is put by the manufacturer we cannot make any modifications in the rom and it is a kind of non volatile memory so this is the right answer which one among the following is the main system board of a computer so the main system board is motherboard here your ram rom chips are present you can even add extra chips also in your motherboard c++ is is it an operating system no is it a software no it is a kind of programming language so programming languages are the artificial languages where uh, which are used by software engineers to write programs so that they can make software so other type of programming languages you have java you have python i am telling you because such kind of questions can come java python c is also a programming language okay which among the following is a modifier key control shift alt modifier key are those keys which are uh, used for doing shortcuts like we do control c control v that is that shortcut copy and paste is uh, used using control so control is a kind of modifier and so is shift and alt so all these above three options a b c are your modifier keys which of the following language is used by computer to process data so for processing data computer uses only binary language computer understands only binary language that is language of zeros and ones it is also called as machine language protocol used for sending a email is smtp 
simple mail transfer protocol so http it is used for showing the pages on the web browser ftp is used for sending files and pop3 is used for receiving a emails okay for receiving emails while your smtp is simple mail transfer protocol it is used for sending email remember this next which among the following are output devices so output devices are those which are used to see the information from the computer to the users so a scanner is a kind of input device speaker and plotter these are a kind of output device and plotter is a device which is similar to a printer but it uses like pens and and it it uses uh, to make lines and not dots so plotter is a kind of output device and so is speaker so here in this question second and third both two and three is your right answer in computers a dvd rom is so we might, everybody has seen a dvd rom it stands for digital versatile disk read only memory so read only memory it means it can be written only once and all these are kind of optical storage media okay light is used to store data in this and we cannot make changes to it it can be written only once by the manufacturer for instance uh, in older days we used to bring uh, cds and dvds to watch movies so what was that read only could you make any changes to to those movies could you like change the uh, movies and put another movies no because th those were only read we could just read it and not make any changes those are written only once and it uses optical storage media with regard to computer memory which of the following is true cache memory is volatile memory yes cache memory is volatile magnetic memory is volatile no like your hdd it is not volatile it is non volatile flash memory is volatile flash memory like your pen drive is it a volatile or a non volatile it is a kind of non volatile memory so this option is also correct ram is volatile this is the most basic example of volatile memory volatile memory means students if you turn off the power of the computer it goes away whatever is there inside the ram it will go away so in this question a and d is the right answer the recycle bin in a windows operating system contains file deleted from the so you you might have seen recycle bin in a windows os whenever we delete some file it goes into the recycle bin so which kind of files go into a recycle bin only a hard drive yani hdd wali files go into the uh, recycle bin and not from pen drive and cd rom rom means read only memory read only means we cannot make changes into it so c can definitely not be the answer in this question only a is the right answer identify the correct order of the fallen computer name on the basis of increasing memory time from low to high from low to high means it will start from secondary access time okay access time means the least access time will be for your registers because they are the fastest they will require very less time so they are uh, asking about access time so registers are the fastest then comes your uh, cache memory then comes your main memory which is called as ram and then comes your secondary memory like your pen drive cds dvds so access time uh, according to it the order is a d b c all right again you are given a question where statement 1 says minimum number of bits to store any three digit decimal number is 10 yes this is true why the data in a digital computer is stored in terms of bits and bytes where one petabyte is equal to 2 to the power of 50 bits so let's see how do we write okay 2 uh, to the power of 3 is one byte okay then byte we convert it into kilobyte we convert it to 2 to the power of 10 this becomes mb then we convert sorry it becomes kb sorry students it becomes kb 
then we multiply it with 2 to the power of 10 it becomes mb then we multiply it again by 2 to the power of 1 it becomes gb and again we multiply it with 2 to the power of 10 it becomes tb and again we multiply it with 2 to the power of 10 so how many times 10 10 10 10 10 5 times so the answer will be 2 to the power of 53 bits so here but the option says 1 petabyte is 2 to the power of 50 bits but no it is 2 to the power of 53 bits okay remember 1 Petabyte is equals to, I will write PB. Petabyte is equals to 1024 terabyte. Okay, and how do we write 1024? 1024 means 2 to the power of 10. When you will multiply 2 10 times, 2 into 2 into 2, like this, when you will multiply, you will get 1024. Okay, so in this question, only statement 1 is correct, while statement 2nd is false. Identify the correct space on the following so we have to tell which matches correctly avi it means audio video interleave it is a kind of audio video file format so it is not a file transfer protocol excel is not a word processing software ms word does that thing hdd is a cloud storage facility no that is not true ubuntu is an operating system yes this is true so here in this question d is the right answer Operating system, other examples are Windows, Linux, Unix, Ubuntu. These are different kind of operating system, which is an example of your system software. BCD stands for, in computing, BCD means binary coded decimal. Is your right answer? It is a kind of binary encoding that each digit in a decimal number is represented in the form of bits. Okay, this encoding can be done in either 4 bits or 8 bits so it is bcd stands for binary coded decimal which one of the following allows a phone call to be routed over network wire so it is voip voice over internet protocol which one of the following represents 1 trillion characters so 1 trillion characters means 1 terabyte remember 1 million characters if the question asks million characters it is going to be megabyte one billion characters is going to be your gigabyte and one trillion means your terabyte scrambling scrambling of data before transmission across a network to avoid manipulation by third party is known as encryption see um, whenever we want to send some uh, confidential information if we send it directly on the net network somebody can change it so what do we do it that information like if the information is one two three four five so if we send it directly somebody can read it and they can misuse it so what we do is we change this information our information only we change it to something that's like five two three one four so scrambling of data scrambling means mixing of data for before transmission on the network so that some other party is not able to read it and even if they read it they are not able to misuse it so that is encryption it is used for data security gif jpg BMP and PNG are extensions of files that stores image data. So GIF is a graphical interchangeable format. JPG is joint picture expert group. BMP is bitmap and PNG is um, portable. PNG uh, is also a kind of file format. Okay. When IT Act 2000 came into effect so in it act 2000 came into effect on 17th october 2000 is the right answer the first programming language was it was fortran formula translation transmission okay which of the following language is used to access data from a database SQL is used to access data from a database. It stands for Structured Query Language. So 
so you might have uh, seen like like i already told you uh like in a school where we have a table so that table if we make if the programmers are making it to store a data to retrieve also we will need something because just making the data is useless so putting data into it or fetching information from it is done by sql it is a kind of a query language query means whenever we have we have doubt or we want something so we we do query so sql does query from this database and it fetches information or it it also does the task of putting information in the table how many bits ip address has so ip address means internet protocol address it consists of 32 bits so here like uh, there are four numbers between the range from 0 to 255 okay and all these numbers should have a dot in between and it is used to recognize computers or uh, hardware on the network process data is known as so after a computer has processed the data it is known as information which of the following is an operating system for computers so linux is a kind of operating system while none of the other options are correct given below are two statements one is true two statements assertion and reason now we have to tell if both are true or if one is true and one is false so assertion says internet is a collection of internet interconnected computer networks linked by transmission media such as copper wires fiber optic cables and wireless communication yes this is true internet is a connection of interconnected computer networks where we can exchange uh, information using wireless communication we have routers we have copper wires like lan cables and all and the latest fiber optic cables so assertion is true let's read the reason reason says world wide web is a collection of interconnected documents this is also true but student the difference is that this statement is not the explanation of the assertion okay these two are different things so in this question both are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion which is not a language translator so language translator are those that are used to convert source code into object code okay so that task is done by a language translator and we have compiler interpreter and assemblage as language translator alu is not a language translator given below are two statements so the first statement says www is a network of networks identified by the url yes the, this statement is true WW is a service that runs on the internet. No. Uh, okay, in this question, actually, both the statements are correct. Okay, don't read this. Both the statements are correct. So, C is your right answer over here. World Wide Web is a network of network identified by URL. URL means uniform resource locator and ww is a service that runs on the internet so in this question c is your right answer okay uh, so i hope you like this session if you do uh, do give it a thumbs up also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon if you have any suggestions feel free to write it down in the comment section and we will be uh, really happy to help you we also have our um, paper 2 preparation we provide you for english literature commerce and uh, economics so all this uh, is available on the app it is there i'll show you so if you want uh, paper 2 material for this for english literature or economics or commerce we have it so you can contact this number for mock test or notes and video lectures so we will be meeting with another video um, that will be uploaded tomorrow at 8 am do watch them and achieve your target of clearing ugc net examination bye